What's up? What's up, everybody? Today we are here on the China server, which is actually important right now because we are going to be playing with Bernadotte, the Fire Shadow Claw, which is the China server equivalent to Ken from the Street Fighter crossover on global Europe, Asia, Japan, and Korea. Just to uh, recap what I've said in previous videos, uh, China has different laws, different legal situations, so they were not actually able to license the Street Fighter units in China, so they had to use the Come to Us original units, which everyone else is going to get after uh, the start of November. So I know a lot of people are also very excited to, or not very excited, a lot of people are like, man, how do I get the Shadow Claw? I don't really want the Ken. I've seen so many of you guys say this. I don't really want the Ken. I would much rather have the Shadow Claw. He looks so much cooler. So uh, I think the, the most likely situation for the Shadow Claw in the future is they'll probably put him kind of like what they did with the Dark Vampire Lord for the Dark Vampire Lord event. Um, they will probably put him in the Ancient Coin Shop probably starting uh, the beginning of November, right? So that's at least what I would guesstimate on that. So you should be able to get uh, Ken and also the Shadow Claw from the Ancient Coin Shop. I didn't hear any confirmation from Com to us. That's just what I'm guessing is what's going to happen. Similar to previous events, similar to... Uh, I get similar to like Fran, similar to uh, the Dark Vampire Lord, things like that. Uh, El Sharion also in Ancient Coin Shop. Anything that we're not able to summon, they put in the Ancient Coin Shop for the most part. I'm still waiting for that uh, that Femi, man. I'm still waiting for that Femi. Anyway, let's take a look at Bernadotte. The skills are basically the same as, not basically the same. The skills are exactly the same as Ken on Global Asia. Um, Global Asia, Europe. you know, the, the, the skills are the same as Ken. He's got attack power break here. He's got, uh, this is a strip and absorb attack gauge. Uh, fully maxed. We're waiting for, I'm not gonna throw any more skills into him. Uh, I used some skills from the event, and then I used some devil mons. And then the last skill ups, I'm just still gonna do those last skills from the event. So I'm not skilling him up uh, completely now. But the, the important skills are skilled up here. Hurricane Rush, reusable three turns. Uh, nice. I, 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 I kind of wish that this was a higher activation rate, but we'll take what we can get, but I hope that they buff the activation rate on that in the future, because that's going to be really nice. It's already nice, like, he, for, for a lot of things, he just needs to really hit it once, but hopefully in the future, like, that would make it even better, right? I, I really uh, enjoy if he has a higher activation rate in the future. I really hope they do that. And then the Shadow Blade, remember, man, this is this is kind of similar to Crow. He does extra damage based on the harmful effects on the enemy, and then he also gets an additional turn as long as he crits. So I feel, and he has a brand, right? So kind of similar to Crow. Similar to Crow with an AoE strip attack gauge decrease is not bad, right? Not bad. He doesn't quite do as much damage as Crow, but he's uh, he's still a pretty good unit, though. Still a pretty good unit. He has, con he has uh, AoE kind of CC, which is something Crow doesn't do, right? So he's like Crow with AOE CC. But basically, I mean, he's basically Fire Ken. Uh, we just want to see him in some action. We want to see him uh, actually do what he's going to do. Let's turn off our uh, 1920s ragtime music. Or well, I don't know when ragtime was, man. I don't know when ragtime was. Let's turn that off. Let's put uh, increase the desktop audio, and let's see what he actually... I know you guys want to see the sound effects, but... There's so many people that are like, oh, I want to hear the sound effects, baby. I want to hear the sound effects. But it's always for the Street Fighter years. They want to, you want to hear the Hadoukens. You don't really probably want to even hear this. But uh, there you go. You're going to hear it anyway. There you go. This is the one we didn't want. Pretty nice. He actually can't farm fame and buy himself. <laughs> Did you guys notice about Ken? Uh, well, Ken can't farm fame and buy himself. The, the unit in general can't farm fame and buy him themselves. Uh, maybe different with uh, artifacts and with... Potential with grinds. Is mine grinded? Is my Ken grinded? Turns on the audio, talks through the whole thing. Tell me that is not an awesome looking skill, man. This guy is just so much cooler looking than, uh, than, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Capcom. I'm sorry, Capcom. <laughs> He's so much cooler looking than Ken. I'm sorry. I love Street Fighter. I love the Street Fighter franchise. I just, He's so nice. He's so nice. All right, let's put let's put our ragtime back on. We heard his uh, his nonsense. We heard his thing. Uh, let's go. No, I don't want to see that. Let's take him in now to the place that I feel he works best is Dragon's B12. He's got that little bit of CC, 
strip a, uh, attack age uh, absorbed with a skill 2 and then he has big damage with uh, skill 3. Of course it's bigger damage based on the amount of um, debuffs on the enemy so I feel, didn't I just say this that he's really nicely, uh, she, he works really nicely with the water homunculus especially with all those dots on skill 3. He does just extra damage there and then the attack age reduction with skill 2 just gives him so much opportunity for, it's just so many extra fail safes right? So very similar to how when Dragon's B12 first came out, I was like, oh, you know what? The Water Amazon is really nice here. It's got multi-hits, attack age decrease. Well, Shadow Claw kind of does multi-hits with attack age decrease and also does. Are you going to die? <laughs> oh, no, we have the attack break. We have the attack break with Spectra. That's why Spectra is so good, right? That's why Spectra is so good. But, um... But yeah, for the kind of for the same reason that the Water Amazon, I was like, oh, this is really nice because multi hits, right? So if the first hit doesn't land, like, uh oh, we have nothing. Like, oh no, you have more hits to decrease attack age. Uh, so multi hit attack age absorb with the strip. So if you don't strip the first time, you can strip the second time. If you don't hit, strip the second time, you can strip the third time. Silver plated bullet. <laughs> Very nice. Good job. Good job, Lauren. Killing it. Um, anyway, I, I just think he's really nice here. I think this is like the best place for the uh, Fire Shadow Claw. And I feel like uh, from a development perspective, that's probably what Com to Us had in mind. Is like, oh, let's uh, let's stick him. People having trouble with dragons. Let's give them a decent unit for Dragons V12 that can also be usable in other places, right? So anyway, this is the China survey. It's not like super crazy on the runes. Like I'm sure you guys have, if, if any of you, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. I was going to say, if any of you have violent uh, Lorens, they're probably faster than this swift Loren, but I've seen your runes. You <laughs> your violent Lorens, are the, the, your, your Lorens are fatal. Um, attack, attack, HP. That's what your Lorens are on. Oh, God. <laughs> I've seen, um, I know someone in the comments is going to be like, yo, did he see my Lorens specifically? Because I've, well, I don't know why you guys put Fatal speed attack, attack, speed attack, defense. I, I've seen some weird lords, man. I've seen some weird lords. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys uh, real quick the Shadow Claw. Um, decent unit, though. I think that he's uh, he does need 100% crit rate to cycle with his skill 3. You get a lot of extra value if you cycle with skill 3 into the Hurricane Rush uh, over there. And you want the consistency, right? If anything's going to have 100% crit rate... Well, you kind of want a 100% crit rate on a lot of your DPS units. Aside from the cats. The cats don't quite need 100% crit rate. Things that like, oh, gives extra crit chance or a crit buff or things like that um, to the unit directly. So you don't need 100% crit rate on everything. But for, but for something like this, where he does this and he cycles, gets an additional turn based on crit rate, you're like, that's just extra reason to put more crit rate on him. But anyway, I think that he's a pretty solid unit, and I mostly just wanted to, and he, also he needs accuracy for skill two, and the he, all three of his skills have debuffs, actually. Um, hopefully they increased his activation rate for skill two, that would be even better. Even just a little bit, right? Even just a little bit of extra activation rate. I, I feel like he should get that. And then hopefully he will come to the ancient coin shop because I know a lot of people are curious about like, Bagel, how do I even get this? I don't, maybe if I wait off on summoning Ken, uh, somehow summon a shadow claw. Like, I think he's probably gonna come to the ancient coin shop. Um, if anyone from Comptuous is watching this and wants to shout me out and say like, yes, Bagel, that's confirmed. Uh, hit me up, you know how to hit me up. You, they have my information anyway. Uh, Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I think he's probably going to come to Ancient Coin Shop in the future because anyone that wasn't playing during this Street Fighter collab is going to be like, oh, I want that unit. Why don't I have access to the unit? Same thing like with the Dark Vampire Lord. They have to make the unit accessible somehow in the future. And I think they're going to add the Shadow Claw again since it's not since the Street Fighter collab is only until uh, the end of October. I think they're going to add the Shadow Claw to the Ancient Coin Shop in from November moving forward. So I was gonna end the video and then I'm like, you know what, most people don't have China server accounts, they probably want to see some more of these units, they probably want to see some more of these animations because they're gonna be coming to the global server soon. So uh, yeah, let's do some more, let's take a look at some more stuff, let's take a look at uh, him and Giants Beach. <laughs> uh, oh, I found a f interesting, I totally forgot about this unit for Giants B12. If you guys want me to uh, do a video, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, interesting unit in Giants B12 that I forgot was actually really good in uh, in there. Let's take him in in place of one of the... All, it, all, all I was using for uh, Necro B12 was just four Fire Nagamis and a friend. Basically, anytime you're like any Necro B10 team, 
that has like all DPS, all you do is stick a Fran instead of the Lucian. Like if it's Lucian and four twins or Lucian and whatever, uh, you just stick a Fran instead of Lucian and then 100%, like not 100% success rate, but uh, I have not tried this yet. Let's see how it does. Have not tried it. He's gonna do, he's got multi hits on skill three uh, and skill two. And then the Fire Nagami is gonna team up with him. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. They're gonna team up maybe with him every so often and reduce the cooldowns on his multi hits, skill two and skill three. So we'll take a, we'll, do, we'll see a few few runs here. I want to actually see if this is somewhat consistent or if it's gonna be. It's not gonna be faster, I'm sure. But uh, or maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see. Cause he does have multi. Maybe maybe this would be a little bit faster overall than the uh, four fire nagamis. I don't know, man. Four fire nagamis is pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Pretty brutal. All right, so we got some uh, tech age reductions or tech age absorbed. Sorry. Shield is pretty nice on Necro too to to mitigate that uh, reflect damage, which I've been saying for years. But no, you know you know nobody listens. You know nobody listens. All right, so we got a few multi hits there. Break the shield, can we get a defense break? We got an attack power break, which is not bad. Right, skill one. Something the Inugamis don't do. Uh, apparently something else the Inugamis don't do is a defense break. <laughs> well, nice to know we've got a consistent attack power break there. Man, we really did not get that defense break on him. Why did we get the defense break? This guy. All right, we got one of these. And he gets, I mean, he gets a guaranteed extra turn, so that's not bad with the skill three. We're hoping that he's gonna get that, uh, yeah, maybe just four fire, uh, four fire Nagamis might be a better option here. Oh, he's he's actually, he's not on violent either. And some of these Inugamis, I think only one Inugami is on violent. Let's do another run. I wanna see a little bit more. 141. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat our 47 second quad Inugami team. Let's do another one. Let's do another run. Cause I'm actually curious about this. I'm curious. Uh, Maybe we'll get. I really, I, I, I don't think we're gonna beat our uh, Quad Inugami. Quad Inugami so fast, so fast. I, you know what? You, you would think like, maybe you shouldn't build four of the same unit. Maybe you'll regret it. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I, I, I have not regretted this uh, building four Inugamis. That's just something I, I never regretted. Or haven't regretted really building uh, Lucian after Lucian after Lucian after Lucian on global server. Right? Because I don't even know how many Lucians I have on there. There's a lot of Lucians. A lot, a lot of Lucians. I have uh, a few dupes of other things. I just wish I could scale up like dupe Velijuls, dupe uh, Wusa, but skill ups, right? So a lot of these things are like, yeah, maybe we can use them every so often in Siege. Try to use them without dupe, dupe Feng Yen, right? But a lot of these things, man, things that I that I like for Siege for dupes, just not skilled up. Skilps are crazy, man. I really wish, uh, I really wish they gave out more Devilmons. I know a lot of you guys do too, because you guys are summon crazy and summon, 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 summon. And then you're like, I have no skills for all of these Nat 5s that I've summoned, that I've spent thousands of dollars on. I'm like, yeah, I know you don't. I know you you got no runes for them either. Shh, Rango, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I farmed runes. Listen, I farmed runes in 2019 for a week. <laughs> oh, right, those 2019, those single week 2019 runes. It's a lot of time investment, um, this game just in general, for all the farming you need to do. A lot, a lot, a lot of time investment. So we got, a, I mean, we got plenty of multi hits. We're just kind of lacking on the defense break situation, man. We should be getting more defense breaks than that. Oh my God, these Inukamis do not want to defense break anything today. I think we're maybe just getting some not great RNG on that. I mean, he does it. You can see that he does it. And there's not a whole lot of, uh, there's not, maybe, maybe there's not a whole lot of accuracy. You know what? I haven't checked the uh, 27% accuracy. Oh, that's not the right uh, Inugami. Cause that one's not skilled up. That 46% accuracy. They're just on uh, all attack or damage attack. If you're curious, I've done other videos showing them before. So, and we have a fourth one too. Some of these aren't grinded cause it's a uh, China server. It's kind of hard to uh, raid on here. Some of the things like uh, skill two grid damage, 
And then mostly just the flat attack primary stats. Damage received from Dark is not bad for Necro. Uh, damage received from Fire is good for Dragons. Uh, attack increasing effect was good for running Kali, right? Um, Kali with those, but but yeah, they're not uh, they're they're actually not on violent. So Necro units, but no one's violent except for Fran. Lols. The only one on violent. The only one on violent. Wait, right? The only one on violent. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I started making this video way too long. I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't need to make a seven hour long video. So uh, we'll end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just wanted to show some of the Shadow Claw gameplay on the China server before we get him in a couple months on. Again, it's just Ken. It's just Fire Ken. But we can actually see what he does and talk about uh, talk about him a little bit. So, all right, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for this one. I will see you as always in the next one.